Hello, and today you're going to make a program called Ask a Question. The app that you're about to make will basically produce a random answer to a question that the user asks using lists. To make your app, you must first go to New with an App Inventor and create your project. I'm just going to call mine Ask a Question and then press OK. Once I've created the project, I'll be taken into the interface. There are three components that we need. The first one is a button. The second one is a label, and the third one is in the media section of the palettes, and that's going to be a sound. Now that is a non-visible com visible component, which means you'll not see it on the viewer. For the button, I'm just going to go to the right hand side of the properties, and where I say image and none, I'm going to upload a new picture. Now this should be somewhere that your teacher has explained to you or shown in the board, um, and I'm just going to go and get the image that should look like this, which is a question mark. Once I've selected the question mark image, press OK, which will then upload my image. Now by default, behind the image, you'll see I have text for button 1, which is a text on this button, so I'm going to remove it. And then click back in the viewer, and it will update and show me it's gone. The next thing is for the label, I'm going to click on the label, and I'm going to change the text in the label to be something a bit more useful, like um, your answer appears here and click back in the viewer and my answer will appear there now the text is a little bit small so I'm just going to click back on that component and introduce, uh, increase the font size of the apologize, guys uh, and that will be a bit larger and I can also make it bold if I wish to I now want to make all the components in the center so anywhere in the, in the uh, viewer but off a component just click and activate the properties of the screen when the screen I'm going to choose center in the uh, horizontal alignment and when I align it at center it's now a bit more tighter for the button, I'm going to give it a better name than button 1. So when I go to the block editor later on, I know where it is. So I'm going to rename it to button underscore ask a question. And for the label, I'm going to put something a bit more useful, label underscore um, answer. So now that's the answer is going to go. And for the sound, I'm now going to attach a sound. And again, the teacher who you have will show you where that is. But I'm going to click on the sound component. I'm going to go to properties and none in the source. I'm going to upload and I'm going to go and choose the file. And I'm then going to go and find the sound. And I've chosen the sound that says to our sound. So it's a very simple one. Um, if I press choose, and OK, I've now uploaded a sound and attached it to that component. So I'm actually going to call it sound underscore uh, when answer should appear. I know it's a bit long winded, but you'll see why later on. I've now got a button with an image attached, a label that we're going to change later on, and a non visible component. The last thing that I'm going to do is anywhere on the screen component, you click. I'll just choose a screen component and where it says screen one as a title I'm going to change it to be ask a question and when I do that and click anywhere back in the viewer it'll then update to say you have called it ask a question that is the interface for your app so what you must do is press save and the next job is to load the blocks into the editor